all of you tuned in and listening to us today to our very special show in honor of mothers my name is adam knight today always a pleasure to be serving you family lessons every saturday morning we're always live around about 6 15 all through to 7 30 but this morning you all know election headquarters has been activated so we're a bit behind time remember today our programs our regular programs will not be coming up because right after home affairs we will hand over to the election headquarters they're going to give us that comprehensive coverage of everything happening in the ndc camp today but we are here even more excited because i get to celebrate myself today as a mother tomorrow is mother's day and we're doing it for mothers this year joy from celebrated super moms our focus was on mothers who are raising children with special needs you and i will admit that being a mother is as tough as a difficult job how much more a mother to a child who needs attention almost all the days of their lives every moment for that matter we heard stories some of the some of the children or some of their children are as old as 47 and their mothers are still babysitting them 35 year olds we had the story of um uh, sophia who has three children first child autistic second child autistic third child autistic their lives are literally on hold for their children and this year we focused on you we're telling you you are a super mom all the thank yous these children are unable to tell you because of their conditions we're saying it on their behalf and we say thank you this morning expect your favorite joy fm presenter in your home that's what we are doing with the help of all our sponsors we're going to be coming to your houses i will be on my way to kanda and also to orphan court to go and deliver the packages lexus will be on his way to i think um, either amasama Pokwasi or dowenya Kofi Hayford will be on his way somewhere. Kwame Dazi, Sammy Forsen, Fifi Folsen. We are all going to homes of some of these mothers that we chose so that we will tell them that we appreciate you for the work you're doing for your children. Everything they are unable to say to you, that is what this promotion has done. So thank you. Be strengthened. Remember that we are always praying with you and God will continue to be your help. Home Affairs is brought to you by Amasha Partners Limited and I care. Yum Vita, a delicious way to grow Dano milk. Choose tasty milk. Choose nourishment. Choose Dano milk. Dano milk, go for it. And Sankofa Natural Spices. Didi ye. Today though, today though, today though, I am joined by some very beautiful women I admire in the studio. We're just going to have fun, have conversations and ask you to call in and wish your mothers and all the mother figures in your life a special happy Mother's Day. My guest this morning, Dedo Kofi, she is a... Let me take it. Let me, let me, let me go down. Let me go easy. She is a multi-passionate entrepreneur and founder of Nish, CEO of Adeko Minds. Hi, Dedo. Good morning. Yes, how are you? Beautiful. I also have founder and CEO of Marie Noel Spa and Salon. Marie Noel Yakubu. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Great. 
Daniela, I will appreciate it so much if we can shift this chair a little bit so I can, you know, keep eye contact. Serious. No, not you. Daniela will help us with that. And then I have Baba Ankara. She is also the founder of Goba Kinti. Hi, Baba. Hello, Adam. Nice to finally meet the <laughs> face to that wonderful voice I love to listen to. Oh, thank you for the thank compliments. You, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all of you, to Happy your mothers, mothers to the mother figures in your lives, and everybody that represents motherhood in your circle. Thank you, thank you. And to all of you listening once again, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers who are tuned in, to the mother figures, to, you know, everybody, like I said, who represents mother in our lives this morning. We say thank you. How have you ladies been? <sighs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> What did I say wrong? I, I am tired. I'm sleepy. My daughter didn't let me have a good night rest. So I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> and you guys do well to come in that early in the morning. Like. I know. We're used to it. Yeah. I mean, somewhere, somewhere, you can't even think well of oversleeping. <laughs> I like to chill a little bit. Sometimes you go in Roma, you get home around one thereabouts. But you're here. Like, once you think Four. of the fact that you've got to be here, yeah, you're here. Oh, sometimes, I mean, yeah, sometimes two a.m. That's good. Yeah. I didn't say that. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> That's, That's good. Yeah. Like, but how, how old is she? She's two. Ah, my okay. last one. I two. wish you well. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you stress. <laughs> like, thank God, I'm I'm far away. I'm from done that. with that. <laughs> I wish you grace. <laughs> Amen. I my youngest, it. let me rub it in, is 13. Ha. Have a long way to catch up. I tell you. <laughs> a blessing, yeah. Dada, how's mommy? Mommy's very well. She's not here. She's in the UK. No, so she's listening. Dada well. is still a baby, you know. <laughs> mommy's girl. Mommy's girl. I tell mommy's you. Girl. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me shush there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the senior prefect here. Yeah. So she was switching um, trains between Poughkeepsie and, and Manhattan. So I had to stay on with her. And mm. imagine this 19 year old girl telling me, Mommy, you, have, you should have come with me. I'm like, Shamima, grow up. <laughs> you have to do this yourself. yourself. Yeah. Great. So all of you have been on duty. Anyway, this year, as you heard me, we celebrated these special mothers, right? Mothers who are raising children with special needs. And I shared some of the stories. I'm sure you were listening. We were, we you were like, so wow. You, you can't imagine um, what they go through, you know. Auntie Sophia, when we called her, it's like I had my first child. I was excited. The next moment, the child was exhibiting some traits. You take him to the hospital after examination upon examination. He's autistic. He had a second child. Same. Third child, same. And all wow. the children are autistic. Three boys. And they're all teenagers. I imagine wow. what she goes through. We I had another imagine. story. Different stories. I'm unable to share all of them. And they shared their stories right on radio. Um, Nechet Asanto, he's 47. And you're still taking care of him like a baby. I remember the guy who nominated this woman called in and said, you know, he, she goes everywhere with a kid. And I am like... I can imagine how difficult it is because this is a 47-year-old man you refer to as a kid. Mm -hmm. And you will have to go everywhere with them. Another um, 35, you have, we had a, a mother whose child is six years old with cerebral palsy. So, I mean, very difficult situations that mothers are going through. And for me, um, on an occasion like this, um, 
where you will expect that you know your children are just so hugging amazing. you and loving on you and telling you all that you have done for them they are unable to and you feel like you will never be celebrated and i'm very grateful to god that joy fm this year we took this path i'm sure you will have some very strong words of support and encouragement for this woman so we'll start with that and then we will hear our our stories as well <sighs> who will go um no i'll Heck let uh, marie, marie go <laughs> Naturally, I mean, all mothers are positive towards their children. Mario, could you come closer to the microphone for me? Great. Yeah. So, um, my few words of encouragement um, to these ladies is to keep keeping because it's not easy, you know, with all this, um, what you just talked about, autistic, you know, cere cerebral palsy. palsy. It's, it's, it's really... Um, it's tough mm. it's very tough on mothers so mothers sh they should keep keeping and um be positive and um do their best i mean and at the end of the day we'll also take do our best to look after i mean take care of them so one of the things i also want to offer is um i'll give them a free pampering session Ooh. yeah so that they can also take some time off to relax oh yeah Thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you well, too. we'll add bless that to them. the package for them. Thank you so, so, so much. They don't... Yes. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't even know if I can encourage them, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I think they are like the superheroes of motherhood. Mm. And we would have to celebrate them. And it's it's... I think it's commendable that Joy FM, you've actually brought this to light because sometimes we tend to forget certain types of persons who are so important in our community. And just like in general, we don't focus on persons with um, special needs. So really to be celebrating, I just want to celebrate them and say, because I can't even begin to imagine what they have to go through to do what they're doing. They have the superpowers. And they are doing just amazing. We just want to say that keep doing what you're doing and you deserve to be celebrated. And that's why really, um, unfortunately, I think Lydia is not here with us because um, we together we did some collaborations. Yeah, and I saw it. We were talking earlier that we would love to do something for these women, especially when you talked about what is Sophia, yeah. about her three children were like, wow, we need to um, sort of celebrate her pamper her make her feel special so we would share what we would offer to you for these amazing women oh really. <laughs> <laughs> now i am super excited <laughs> thank you so much they appreciate it already yeah and um let me come to you um baba adam this is a tough one you know it, it takes me to gratitude and it makes me feel i have to complain less when i just have to do mm. one day staying mm. at the hospital with my daughter mm. maybe just because she has a headache she has temperature the doctors have to treat because mm. that's like a one-off treatment and yet we complain I, I make it look like my world is coming to an end i'm tired i want to be out of this hospital so i'm just asking myself if i was in this situation you know it just takes me to gratitude and even though their kids will not be able to say thank you to them, I want to use the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for these kids, that you never gave up, gave up on them. We've heard stories about people going to drop their kids because they don't want them. The child is yeah, sick or abandon something. Them abandon them, them in places, but you keep at it. Um, to even have first child autistic and even decide to try again, that's a strong woman. That's that's a superwoman. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for doing this for these angels. Yeah. Thank you all so very much for you know, those strong words of encouragement and then yeah. the support you plan to give them. Okay, 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 okay. 
um, zoom out, zoom out, zoom <laughs> out. Let's get in. Let's, I'm sure they are also waiting to hear some very exciting stuff that we will be talking about today. But they're, they're surely very strongly on our minds. This morning, like I said, we're just going to, you know, have, you know, um, waiting for the people who come and say that, oh, don't um, men also have mothers? We know we're going to activate the phone lines very soon. So that you can just, just a ladies hangout today we're doing it as we're <laughs> celebrating ourselves as mothers and all that so understand oh, understand <laughs> now generally we want to talk about the impact After after the do the do and I spoke, then I sat back and I said, Enjoy 99.7. Ah, it was a turning point for me mm. because <sighs> oh, my goodness. oh wow <laughs> <laughs> okay mm -hmm. i i think um realizing that i was asking so much of my mom mm. every single time and she never complained wow Tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you can't come. <laughs> Not today. Yes. Okay, so she never complained. And I thought, wow. So this is what I was doing to my mom. Mm. And she really, really never complained. She did everything. She made it seem easy. Wow. She provided for me. And that took my gratitude for my mom to a different level. And I think I think that looking back, I I even see that in me. I don't really. Ah, why am I having this moment? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, I don't complain. My friends know. I never complain about things. I just do what I have to do. And so, even with work, when there's a situation, when there's something to be done. I'm just looking for solutions. solutions. Yeah. I want, we need to find, I was just sharing with them even now about something like a job we had to do yesterday. And at the end of it, when there's um, chaos, you have to find solutions. And I find myself being solution driven all the time. I don't complain. I would always look for the way out so that we can uh, make things work. So. I am so grateful for my mom um, for the kind of um, direct or indirect impact that she has had on my life. And the fact that one of the things that I mean, I'm grateful for is the fact that she was a giver and she enabled me to give. I would ask her for everything and ask her for things for my friends. And <laughs> so giving became, I just like to give things. A anything I had, I would give anything. 
I thought I needed, I would ask her to give me an hour. Give and give. My, myself and give to my friends. And so, I mean, no wonder I have a gift in business. <laughs> and it's, it gives me so much joy to help people, to gift um, other people. Just that whole process of wrapping, coming up with something to give to somebody. It's really so exciting for me. Mm. And, and so really, our mother's impact on our lives are, is amazing. And I think we don't give them enough credit for that. We know that they are the ones who make food for us and they clean the home. And they Even just make when the they're home tired, okay. they go but on. They do so much more. They have put in us some intangible things that will be there forever. Like sure. I always say, whatever I have within me, if my businesses were all to fail, I can start again because those things are within me. Sure. It is power that I have within me. It's not money. It's not physical, but I can always do it again. So, yeah. Great. Uh, how did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> and you needed it. We <laughs> had to take you going back to uh, see those letters yeah, to bring you to this we point. Have about it. <laughs> and, and, and as you're talking, <laughs> my mind just goes, I mean, wait back, you know? My children do that to me.
to her church because she thought she was going to lose me too. Wow. Yes. And and so that's how protective you are of her. And she is of me. Like when you touch me, you've touched her heart. Ooh. I go through this life and it's even hard for me to talk to my mother about it because I feel like it would break her. Yeah. Because that's that's my eye. And so don't come near her. And so most of my friends don't even know my mom. That's how protective I am of her. She survived so many things. She's the most resilient human being I know. Um, not much education, but she believed I have to educate my daughter. She, she always, I grew up in Obwase. That's where I, att I att attended basic school. But she always kept it in my mind that there's better out there. Mm. Don't settle here. Um, you have friends and everything here. But keep it in your mind that you are going to school. They said there's university. I don't know what it is, but I would make sure that you go there. And so my mother would do petty trading. She was she's a hairdresser. But if business is not coming in, she didn't mind putting ice water or ice cream on her head. Just to make sure she has the money to pay for my extra classes. It wasn't luxurious, but she made sure I'm okay. And she always said, My beautiful daughter, you'll be fine. You will do well. We've survived so many things together so many things that i cannot put it out there but i don't know what i'll do without my mom you know sometimes she will call me she can call me for three days continuous i might not be able to answer and i would even forget to call her back but if i try to call my mom two three times and she doesn't and then she see me i'll be panicking i'll be shaking like that's how scared i am that if my mom is no longer there what would happen and she's taking care of me up to this point she still takes care of my children so all i have to do is just ma i have to go here i am going to this place stop everything come take care of my children and then and she's there she would just say how many days do you need me to be here and say ninja bbr yeah. should i just show uh, up you know. and, and she she would just be there it's incredible yeah. i think i've taken a lot for granted but Every time I think through some of these faces, I know she hasn't had it easy. And it's time to really go out there and celebrate yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. People are so real. It's not funny. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Sometimes I wish that I, I grew up having some of these stories to tell about my mom. Because next year would have been 30 whole years since I lost my mom. Wow. I lost my mom before I turned 15. Wow. So you can imagine. But I still remember everything, you know, before I, I lost her. I, I was the last child. So you can imagine, like, you know. <laughs> I still remember everything. The times we shared. One of the profound moments I remember was... There was one day I, I went to the bathroom with her, right? And then I noticed that she had a lot of stretch marks on her tummy. <laughs> then I asked, why is your tummy looking like this? <laughs> then she says you are coming. <laughs> she said it in, you know, the Leklebi language. Yeah, <laughs> when <laughs> And then after I had my twins, I looked at my tummy and I felt like, oh, I never forgot it and, and and all the times I, I asked myself I mean the time when I became a teenager like when I started really knowing stuff we didn't spend too much time together but it was as though we spent like a hundred years together because I was always with her like I said between my older sister and I is 13 years oh, so wow. everybody left home so it was she and I and one of my older brothers Pastor Sam and so, I mean, she was going to sell. I was going with her. When we finished selling, I would go and collect the monies for her and everything. Like, we were so much together. And today I tell my children, uh, you know the children of these days, they don't like to do anything. <laughs> they're also very lazy. You're teaching them to cook, right? They're telling you. Uh, so right now, like, cooking, you have to cook for everything you need in my home. <laughs> you need new pairs of shoes. You have to cook to get it. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to do anything. Yeah. So, okay, I'll put it to something. Yeah. So now you will cook. 
Because, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> but I said, at 15, before mm. I turned 15, do you know the things that mm. I could do? Everything. You will go to the market. Mm. When you finish, you will buy stuff and come home. Mm. You will come and cook. You will do everything. Mm. And you would think that your mother was punishing you. But I asked them, if I didn't learn how to do all of these things, how would I be taking care of you? Yeah. How would we be doing it? Then they go like, I mean, it's true, but that's not our situation. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, yeah. I still will yeah. find ways <laughs> to get out of it. Okay, you know, so... Not yes, that's not their situation. So, and they said I was born in the 1840s. <laughs> no problem. But mothers are, are so, so, so amazing. Yeah. Daddies don't be jealous. We will be doing Father's Day as so, well. Yeah. And we will have this session for you so that the, the the fathers who are coming up will also realize that it's a beautiful place to be to be a mother who can be celebrated i'm sure if we flipped it there are some mothers whom their children won't want to talk about some people will tell you that their mothers are i just know mothers they're just baby careers but if you're worth your salt and we're sharing your story here this morning we're saying thank you very much for all you do all you have done and for we the young mothers who are coming up we are also picking inspiration our phone lines let me activate it today is celebration mm -hmm. day zero three zero two two one six five four one zero three zero two two one six five four one and then zero five five one 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 nine nine seven that's our whatsapp line send your messages across and i will share them with your mothers i will come back to you my ladies in the studio <sighs> however <clears throat> i'd like to tell you about some of the things that you can actually get for your mother and also get to celebrate your families with this mother's day yes um number again is zero three zero two two one six five four one tell you about yum vita infant cereal milk which is fortified with nutri v which contains 16 essential vitamins and minerals including zinc iron calcium to aid in baby's healthy growth it comes in three delicious flavors maize wheat rice and with wheat variants and in three unique pack sizes 50 gram 400 gram and 350 gram block bottom pouch get a pack size that best suits your family needs yum vita a delicious way to grow Let me say thank you to everybody who is supporting our Mother's Day promotion, the Superman promotion. Fortune Rice, always on point, just like mom. Sunflower oil, you deserve a life of goodness. Zigzag fashion accessories, a crumble, your best choice for elegance and style. Le Badi Beach Hotel, first choice, Woody in the Le Creator. Lush Fortune Limited, luxuriously perfect. Sonata Ghana, your total health partner for life and caveman watches. Be remembered. We're asking you to enrich your breakfast with the nourishing goodness of Dano Milk Cool Cow Instant Powdered Milk. The rich taste of Dano Milk makes a perfect combination with your tea, oats, cocoa, and others to give you that great tasting breakfast you've always desired. Dano Milk Cool Cow is fortified with vitamin A and is also a good source of protein, nutri protein and nutrients such as vitamin B12 and iodine to to help keep you nourished and strong always. Dino Milk is affordable and in a shop near you. Choose Dino Milk today for your nourishment and build your strength every day. Dino Milk, go for it. This advert is FDA approved.
Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, the mic can hear you now. Great. How are you doing? Super awesome, as always. Beautiful. Let's hear your message to your mom or to that mother figure in your life. Okay, so lots of them, so it's a, a lot more difficult. But I, I, I think that I'd love to celebrate like three of them today. And then for the other mother figures in my life, God bless you for everything you've done in my life. My name is Jonas Timkray. And the first one is uh, Madame, um, you know, Nadu Nati, inside um, a sugar cane seller who has been taking care of, you know, her epileptic child. And it's been challenging. I mean, all the challenges that you can talk about. You know, um, it's resulted in a whole lot of problems, but I, I want to celebrate uh, the mockery and what have you that she's gone through inside Bo and many other places that she's been. I just want to say that thank you very much. Rosemary, mommy, you are adorable, the band, the chair. And then, of course, my wife. I mean, what can I say about my wife? I I don't know how to, to describe her, but I'd just say that definitely. Jonas, how many children have, has she given you now? Three. Yeah, so the first hey. one and then the twins, yes. Yeah, so the first one and then the twins. We've been married so for five three. years or six? We're in our eighth year. Oh, wow, that's so fast, because I still remember yeah, when we're, you got married. We're, we're in our eighth year, and the twins will be, will be one on the 25th of yes, November of, of, of this month. Twins too. Hello? You have a set of twins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to be one one on the Africa Union Day, the, so the African Union children. So the faith me, are you cool? And and then of course my mom, Mary Afuja Poma, Obadin Day, as I always call her. Wow, such a woman of great resilience. I I I mean I love you, and then all the other women and mother figures in my life. God bless you so so much. God bless you, Adam. Bless you, Jonas. And when we talk of spices, then it's a sunk of a natural spices made in Ghana with no chemicals added. If you love your mom and want to live well and long, then it's all about sunk of a natural spices. Remember that our forefathers lived well and long, and this is because every food they ate was natural with no chemicals. So why would you add chemicals in the name of spices to your natural food? Sankofa Natural Spices is made with our own precursor, a shrewisa, a fomwisa, and in kitten kitten. Sankofa Natural Spices is 100% natural. There's no salt, it has no sugar, and no chemicals, and no monosodium. Too much salt, sugar, and chemicals are not good for the body, so that is why we recommend natural sankofa natural spices for you they come in different variants um jollof stew fish soup chicken and beef curry ginger garlic spaghetti and noodles and the price is also very affordable so don't play with your health and your life sankofa natural spices for your tasty and healthy meals sankofa natural spices ddye and if you want to buy in bulk, you can call 0555603143. Number again is 0555603143. Remember, your health is your wealth. And Sankofa Natural Spice says Didi. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, God bless you for the good work you are doing. I just want to say a happy Mother's Day to my mom, Grace Adra Boheme. She's a very special mom, hardworking. We are grateful to her, myself and my siblings, to Mama Pat, the owner Hammond, and then to Mama T, all of Logos Rema. God bless you all, mommy. 
God bless you, Adam, and your team. All right. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> Let me remind you again that Yum Vita Infant Cereal with milk is fortified with Nutri-V, which contains 16 essential vitamins and minerals, including zinc, iron, and calcium to aid in baby's healthy growth. It comes in three delicious flavors, maize and wheat. Uh, may, it comes in three delicious flavors, maize and wheat, rice and wheat variants, and three unique pack sizes, 50, 400, and 350 block bottom pouch. Get the pack size that best suits your family needs. Yum Vita, that's a very delicious way to grow let me come back to you noel dado and uh, baba <laughs> okay. what are you people enjoying <laughs> you left me out of the enjoyment <laughs> okay so we will be wrapping up pretty soon but i'm sure that apart from your mothers you have other mother figures in your lives um, that you would want to send some messages across to. And then generally, whatever it is that you want to say to mm -hmm. all mothers out there on <laughs> such an occasion, or if there's anything more you want to say, here's the time. So Noel, we'll start with you. Um, I would like to uh, wish Auntie Christy, um, she's like a mother figure in my life. Um, happy Mother's Day, Auntie Christy. Love you so much. Um, I also like to wish, say Happy Mother's Day to another beautiful lady um, who uh, looks after me. Anytime there's an issue, she she's the one I'll go to. Um, happy Mother's Day, Diamond. And to my own very Dedo here, she's like a mother to me as well. <laughs> to everyone. Happy Mother's Day to Dedo. Happy Mother's Day to my best friend also, Jennifer. She's also a mother figure in my life. I wow. have so many mother figures in my life. And to all my beautiful happy mothers out there, I haven't mentioned their names. You are in my heart and I wish you a beautiful, happy Mother's Day. Great. One of the things that I will, when we are done with the show, we'll talk about. I'd like to have all of you back. Okay. And this time around, we want to talk about business how you're combining because that's um a very strong <laughs> advocacy that i i have always been into it but this time around i am i'm very passionate about it work and family life balance how you're able to manage your businesses grow it and still be able to keep your homes together you know so we will have those conversations and also be able to teach the young the young ones who are coming up i don't have anything doing i don't know what to do i don't know how to start how do i start what do i do um we want to have that conversation maybe next week maybe <laughs> next two weeks but we will have it real quick um today is just to you know mother's day and relaxing but we will have that conversation on, on on business and family life so please raise yourselves up for it if my producer gives me the go ahead and you're available we could do it next week who knows before i come to you to do hello good morning i have someone on the line hello good morning good morning can you hear me Okay. How are you? I am well, thank you. How are you? Okay, yeah, I'm also fine. Beautiful. Your message. I just want to wish my mom a happy, happy Mother's Day. Great. Thank you very much for calling. I'm sure she will yes, hear please. it. She will yes, hear it. Yes, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. And I have a lot of mother figures in my life as well. Um, Reverend Mrs. Jane Mensah. Mommy, happy Mother's Day to you. And this morning, we will be going to Kolibu. Dadu, we're going to Kolibu <laughs> after here. We're, we're going to celebrate with the mothers who have their children at the pediatric oncology unit nice. there. And that's what, you know, the charisma ladies of the um, charismatic evangelistic ministry, that's what we are doing this morning. So we are all going there, serve them food, do, do donations spend time with them and you know just just tell them that you're doing a good job 
that's all we want to do so charisma ladies we will meet up really very soon dado yes ma'am okay so i, I love your name i could mention it all day <laughs> <laughs> i want to um, wish happy mother's day to my stepmom mm. she's called by and i grew up a lot with her okay um she taught me how to cook she taught me how to do house chores i know at the time it may have seemed like punishment but some of those things are what have built me and i probably wouldn't have known how to cook if i i wasn't i mean she didn't teach me how to do all of those things and so as we're celebrating mothers i want to celebrate by who is um, the mother to my half brother um, Ivan and then Mateko? Uh, I love you, Bae. I know that I haven't said this <laughs> in a while, but I love you and thank you um, for being the mother to me when you were. Um, and then I think to avoid getting into trouble, <laughs> I would I would like to say a Happy Mother's Day to. Um, all the women, strong women that I know around me. There are too many and I know I'll get into trouble. But, I would mention one woman who meeting her um, has brought a lot of turning points in my life. Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika. She's not in Ghana. She's Nigerian. Um, but she's an amazing woman, amazing mother to um, a lot of people. And I would like to wish her happy Mother's Day, especially because of what she does to let women um, come out and live out their full potential i think that she deserves to be celebrated so all my clients all the clients amazing mother clients of niche and um, i wish you a happy mother's day we are open this weekend today and tomorrow so come in <laughs> and let's um, help you celebrate whoever you want to celebrate beautiful thank you baba adam okay i have i have mother figures for everything I have mother, mother figures who teaches me on spirituality, okay. mental health, being strong, and all of that. That's a blessing that I've, I'm enjoying. And so I want to celebrate all of them in no particular order. I'd like to celebrate Mrs. Florence Sandra White, Uncle Bo's wife, Uncle Bo White's wife. She's my mom. Um, I'd like to celebrate Mrs. Charlotte Osei and her sister Belinda Smith. I'd like to celebrate Reverend Gifty Lamte. Um, there's a customer of mine when I started go back in tea she would always come to buy but I saw how invested the woman was in me she would sit down and even talk to me about the fact that don't just focus on your business but pay attention to your home make sure your husband is okay because he is your biggest support always make sure the home is sorted first and her name is Ma Wilma of Metalis Ghana I really want to say thank you to her um, and a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all my Riverman production members. I have a cohort, they are known as Diamonds. I like to wish <laughs> I, I like to wish all of them a happy Mother's Day. My Goba Kente mothers, those who have been there who know and understand Kente, yet they choose to come and do business with Goba. I'm very thankful. And for all the mothers, mother figures I have in my life and on social media happy mother's day happy mother's day i don't want to get into trouble <laughs> um but uh, yeah some 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 amazing women have been there for me yeah. too for instance my my brother's wife um uh, mrs sandra k she's been there for me my big sister when i had my first child she had to put her home on hold to come and teach me how to be a mother for three days three weeks you know this is how you hold the baby. This is what you do. This is what you do. When I had a set of twins, she did the same. She would leave. She would come. She would sleep. She would wake me up. Gloria, I'm sleepy. You two come and come and take care of the babies. Then I will be up. I'll take care of the babies a bit. We were running shifts, you know. And so for you, this woman and all the women who have been there for me, supported me, I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> and to all the women I work with, the mothers I work with here, my team members who are mothers, happy Mother's Day to all of you across the Joy Brands and even the whole multimedia group. You people are amazing. Some of them run very weird shifts. They wake up at dawn, 3 a.m. They are here until what time and all that. God bless all of you and continue to strengthen you. Dado, I'll come to you very, very, very shortly. 
and before we wrap up we have just about two minutes to go election headquarters is coming up wednesday now is standing by he wants me out of here so bad wednesday <laughs> we are coming today is you know our day so we're we're coming we'll leave very soon now let me once again remind you that yum vita is an infant cereal and you will need to make sure that it is always part of your breakfast especially for your children remember it is fortified with nutri v which contains 16 essential vitamins and minerals including zinc iron and calcium and it aids in baby's healthy growth it comes in three delicious flavors maize and maize and rice and then the the wheat variants it also comes in three pack sizes you have the 5400 and 350 block bottom pouch so get the pack size that best suits your family needs yum vita is a delicious way to grow let me also quickly tell you about glow productions it is historic iconic and thrilling it's birthed in spain in 1635 caught the eye of the world performed in almost all all stages in europe listed as one of the 40 greatest plays of all times and now in africa accra it's the afrocentric edition of life is a dream by latif abubakar a spain a ghana production live at the accra international conference center 27th and 28th may two shows each day 4 p.m and 8 p.m um 150 ghana cities you can dial star 447 star 1092 hash to grab your tickets or visit latif globe on facebook twitter and instagram for details early bird tickets uh it's at 100 cities that's before the 19th of may tickets are available uh joy fm bachona total and airport show life is a dream is sponsored by embassy of spain and mnc group supported by the second coming of Nkrumah project powered by joy entertainment graphic news plus app and glow productions glow productions experience the best Lo, you, uh, Dado, you wanted to say something and then i will yes, be yes, out yes, of here yes, yes. i forgot some important mother my Ajoma and Erica at home. Ah, Ajoma. They take care of me. <laughs> and I, I could not, not have mentioned Ajoma's name. I'm sure she's listening right now. She prepared me to come here and every day she prepares me. So. All right, great. Thank you very much. Daniela, you didn't wish your mother and your aunties you've been bagging me with Happy Mother's Day. I wish them on your behalf. <laughs> um. Yes, we have to go back quickly. Okay, yeah, quickly. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers at Marie Noel Spa and all my clients who have been mother figures to us. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Great. Happy Mother's Day, Auntie Maggie. All my right. special mom. Yes. All right. So thank you all. Make sure that you're thank wishing you. all the mother figures happy. Visit them, call them, do something for them. Um, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Today we have had our session here, but make sure that you're celebrating your, the mothers. And the husbands who are saying that it is Mother's Day, not Wife's Day. Your wives are mothers. Tell them. Your wives are mothers. Tell them. We're not saying go and wish them Happy Wife's Day. Wish them, I mean, give them all the support and all the strength for mothering your children. So please, you people should stop um, running away from... <laughs> doing what you have to do we need the strength to continue you know what we are doing but thank you very much stay tuned in to joy joy news and all our platforms social media everywhere for that comprehensive coverage of everything i that's how i would choose to say it happening in the ndc camp today my name is adam knight today daniela thank you very much and happy mother's day to you in advance Dado, Noel, and Baba, thank you for spending your morning with us. We thank appreciate you. So you. Thank we'll you. We'll have the conversation and see if we're coming back next week. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.